Hey there, good morning, good night, good evening, good afternoon, or whatever you're watching this video. It's uh, 8.15 in the morning here. Just got out of the shower, just gave my girls a, a bottle, got to get them up um, in just a minute, but I just wanted to do a, uh, a video um, this morning because I decided last night that I wanted to try doing uh, a mono meal for the whole entire day. And, um, I've actually never done that. Like, I've decided I, I've got some cantaloupes that I bought, um, last week on sale. Some local cantaloupes. And I've got a bunch of them in my refrigerator. And I want to, I want to eat them up. And I thought, why not do cantaloupe for the, the whole entire day? And, um, I wanted to do a video on it because I think that, for me, it helps... You know, if I write down something, if I tell other people, you kind of hold yourself more accountable. Um, so that's why I'm doing this video, so I can document it, because it would be my first time doing that for the whole day. I have done plenty of mono meals up to this point, but uh, never for the whole day, because normally by the evening time, I struggle, and I normally give in to myself with having something else. Um... And I want to be able to, to you know, make it through the whole day. I want to be able to do a juice fast or a feast or whatever for, you know, a couple of days and um, not be tempted to, um, you know, desire some other stuff. Um, that's just something that I've been wanting to work up towards. Um, even like a water fast for like a day or two days or three days or something like that. Not anything longer, but um, you do kind of have to build yourself up. And I know there's plenty of people watching this that are able to, you know, with their eyes closed, you know, eat grapes or cantaloupe or watermelon for a week or juice for 20 days or 30 days, and that's awesome. I'm definitely not there, and I know there's people watching this that have a hard time just eating, you know, one or two raw meals um, a day, and this is a step up um, from where I've come nine months ago. If you had asked me a year ago, what do you think about you know eating a day of just mango or you know having green juices all day? I would think that you were crazy, to be honest. Um, I would think good for you. That sounds really healthy, but I just in my mind I wouldn't have the um, the motivation to want to do that. And I, I didn't have the knowledge or the understanding at that time um, of the benefits um, of, of doing something like that. So um, I'm going on a cruise uh, a week from tomorrow and I'm so excited. I'll be gone for, it's a seven day cruise, but I'll be gone in total nine days because we have to drive to Florida for a day and then drive back. And, um, so just kind of mentally getting ready for that. I want to be as as raw, high raw as I can. Um, I'm really excited. I think that it's not going to be very hard, especially during the morning and the afternoon because we'll be so busy and so involved. Jen and I like to do a lot of the, you know, take advantage of the rock climbing or the gym and that time together that we can work out. So I know that we'll be really active and, um, the only thing I'm concerned about is more of the dinner time, you know, uh, we're going on a really nice ship and I know we're probably going to want to sit in the dining room at some point as opposed to going to the buffet every single night. Um, so I really want to work towards this week, I think, just kind of maybe cleaning things up a little bit. Um, I have been eating a lot of, uh, not high fat, but I've been doing some recipe testing and I've been doing a lot of soaked nuts and um, some avocado and stuff like that. And so, and you know, I do use seasonings and I just want to kind of, I guess, uh, just if I can, kind of clean my system out a little bit. So hopefully when I go on this cruise, I won't be as tempted um, to want to, you know, eat certain things. And uh, Jen and I already said, you know, we're going to be very, very good. And, um, you know, we might have a cheat here and there, like a good cheat. Um, nothing like, you know, I'm talking about like a burger and fries cheat. But maybe some fish or something and some, you know, some cooked vegetables like at dinner time and things like that. But um, anyways, I just wanted to say hello and... Remind you to always eat happy foods, 
and just let you know that today I'm going to be eating cantaloupe. Um, of course, it's really early and I'm excited and I'm not worried, but um, maybe I'll do a video later on this evening and let you know how I'm feeling because, you know, I think that's a big challenge for people, especially when people are going high raw, is it's really easy and for me in the morning and then and the um, you know the noon hour lunch time because you're so busy but then you come home from work you're tired you know for me I've got all you know we got all the kids and trying to get them dinner and fed and bathed and put down for bed and you just want to sit on your butt and just relax and what do you do you're not really hungry but you get the munchies and you just you know it's it's challenging it's challenging for a lot of people and, and it takes time you have to work on it and um, it gets get easier and easier and easier so, uh, anyways, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. I know it is. And um, so, I will let you know how it goes. I'll, like I said, I'll probably do a video later. Uh, I won't do a food recipe video. Um, but I'll let you know what's going on with my little cantaloupe mono experience. And I do encourage um, you to, if you haven't tried having a mono meal, to pick something you really enjoy, like, you know, the other day we I went to the store and I got, like, a ton of these uh, little honey champagne mangoes. Mackenzie asked her what she wanted for dinner and she said mango. <laughs> so I ran out to the store and I picked out, came back with, like, a dozen really ripe mangoes and we just had a mango party. Um, and that was dinner. And, it, and, and every time we all sit down and we sit there and eat something so sweet, so juicy, just it's so good. I always say to myself, my goodness, who wouldn't want to make a meal out of this? It's just it's it just tastes delicious. Um, so definitely pick something you enjoy eating and you really like, and you will notice that you do feel uh, feel better, um, especially if you kind of make this a a practice. You know, maybe once a day or once every other day, try to just eat one thing for a meal. Because uh, it is really easier on the digestive system, and you do f feel that you have uh, more energy. You might not notice it right away, um, because, you know, obviously if you're still eating a bunch of other stuff. But if you do make it a daily practice, just like with anything, you'll start to notice a difference. Because there's little tiny, tiny little changes that happen each time you do something. And if you're just consistent enough with it, those little tiny changes start to add up to something. And you might not see it for a week, two weeks, a month, six months, nine months. Um, but, you know, you'll get there. Because like I said, I've been doing this for nine, high raw for nine months. And, uh, you know, I would say that I mean, we've been doing mono meals for a bit. But, I, you know, it's taken me nine months. And now I've decided I really want to do a day of just one thing. Um, you know, if I had some watermelon, I probably would do watermelon. But... I've got cantaloupe, and melon's super good for you, so I'm going to do that. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go get my girls up. <clears throat> We're going away for the weekend uh, to the uh, the beach house. I'm excited about that. And um, get a little bit of relaxation in, some sunshine. But um, anyways, please subscribe to these videos if you haven't. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like any of the videos. And... Um, I do appreciate you watching, and have a super awesome day. Eat happy foods, feel good, get outside, and do something fun. Take care.